What is that cone on top of my head? Look at my muscles. I'm like so toned. <laughs> Look at the costume. Hi dancers, welcome back to my channel. Today I have such an exciting video for you all. I am going to be reacting to my old ballet solos. Now this is a mixture of demi characters, classicals and repertoires. So Simona, my sister and assistant has basically compiled together the four or five best solos that she thought I should react to. So we're starting off with apparently one of my old demi characters and also one of my old classicals. So let's get straight into it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. This was back when I was a unicorn for one of my Demi characters. And I was, I think about 14 here. This is hysterical. Okay, right, here it goes. <laughs> Look at the costume. What is that on my head? I am in shock. I've got a good jump though, don't I? Oh my God, the arms, stop it. Good balance there, Claudia, let's go. I'm actually though, like I'm okay. I'm just very stiff. Oh, we've got a bit of jazz going on here. Oh, 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 let's go. Oh, back to ballet. Look at, look at the tail. It's like all so legit. <laughs> the head. I can't deal with this. Look at my facial expressions. They're pretty good, hey. I'm pretty convincing. I remember this solo being so tiring as well because it's like full with jumps. The body ripples. I actually really like the choreo though. It's like very unicorn-like, isn't it? Oh my golly gosh. What is going on? What is that cone on top of my head? Pretty flexible. Still flexible now. Look how tiny I am too. I cannot believe that. I was 14. Look, I'm like just a bean pole. It's the end now. Okay, what did you all think? I cannot believe that costume. All right, next, let's go. Okay, here we go. Now we've got my classical solo. Yeah, again, 14 or 15 here. It's hard for me to remember, actually. This was definitely like over 10 years ago, though. The music. That tutu is ghastly. Oh, yuck. Velvet hot pink. Oh my God. I love how confident I am. Look at this. You can tell that I just think I'm gonna win it. I remember this solo. It's so funny, they don't leave your body, do they? Okay, I actually think I do fuetes. I think I have to do like 16 fuetes in this, everyone. Look at my muscles, I'm like so toned. I used to love this solo, I'm just remembering now. Look how like dynamic I am. It's like when you're feeling yourself, so good. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure every single time I did this, I used to win. Sometimes you just have to fake it till you make it. Honestly, it actually works because I am as stiff as a board here. This has me on the edge of my seat. I love this. Okay, no, they're definitely coming. I remember this. All right, here we go. And part of ball, Ray, go. Oh, here we go, let's go. Do I do them? One, two. Whoa, I need to lift up my chest bone. Go, girl. I'm pretty sure I have to finish in an attitude Devon as well. <gasps> Come on, Claudes, get your leg to your retire. Let's do this. Whoa, whoa. Oh, look at that ending. And another Grand Jedi. Oh, I'm puffed just watching that. What did you all think? I mean, that was crazy. Okay, let's go to another solo. So the next one was captured in 2007. This is, I think Simona told me, I think this is the Bluebird variation. So this one, I would have been 13. I am fairly sure I did this on point. It was my first ever variation. You know what? This kind of proves too that when you watch this, anyone can make it. Ooh, repertoire. Okay, here we go. Bluebird, I'm fairly sure this is Bluebird. Oh, and the crown. Oh my God, who put me on stage? Look at the tutu, it's like someone went. I was 13 here, my first repertoire. You can tell I'm not as confident, right? You can see. My expression on stage. I look scared. Oh, my knees. Oh, someone give me some hyperextension exercises. Let's go. Where's my expression? I'm like a little pocket rocket, hey. Oh, I think I got second at this particular competition. Whoa. 
and she goes for it. How many was that? Oh, what an ending. Always just going in for the kill. Absolutely love that for me. Okay, guess what? We have another repertoire. Apparently this is the first shade. This solo, everyone, was my rehearsal before Jenna. So I was 15, I think, when I won Jenna, or 16, I can't remember. So I was 15 or 16 when I won Jenna, which is an RAD competition, and I had to quickly do this on stage before that competition, and I remember being so nervous because this particular solo requires so much control. You're about to see. So I was about to go to the Royal Ballet School, actually. This was literally probably four months before I was about to go to the Royal Ballet School. I know I was really nervous. I remember being nervous for this. Feet and legs have improved. See, you can tell. Two years on. Oh, bit shaky. Oh, good control. Oh, now that is a good pirouette. Um, I need to bend my leg in more for that devil pay, but anyway, you can tell I'm just like a lot older here, more mature. Oh, those turns. I actually can't believe this. My feet still need improvement, but that's okay. This is such a hard solo. Anyone that's done the solo, can you comment below and tell me if you used to find it like the hardest solo possible on your left leg? Those left leg feels. The tutu is really pretty too. I remember like all the crystals like always falling off every time I was on stage. Okay, go. Oh, I have such pretty like lines to the back. You can tell I've got a lot of potential, but I need a lot of refinement, hey. Come on, split jetty. Yes. Boom, now that was very good. Do you know what? You can really see I've got everything going for me there, but just some refinement things, you know? Everyone's got that. I was, you know, still a little baby, but it gives you all hope. I went to the Royal Ballet School after that and obviously improved more when I was there. Okay, next solo. This was 2008. So yeah, I must have been maybe just turned 15 at this point. This is at the Sunshine Coast of Steadford. Let's go. I was always really nervous for this solo too. Does everyone else get nervous? Ooh. Tutu is stunning. Ooh, good control. I like my French roll too. Oh, I look like a little Bambi, like just so cute. Oh no, I'm dreading these turns. Here we go. I know they're gonna be stiff. I know my arms are gonna be stiff because I was always stiff. Yeah, see? Gotta lift them on top of my head. Let's go. And you should open your arm out to second, Claudia. Second! No. Oh well. It's all good. If only I was my own coach back then. <laughs> hey, confidence is key. If you don't believe in yourself, everyone, no one else is going to. So, get amongst it. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna do Grand Fuertes? Or oh, lift up your knee, Claudes. Come on, get it up. You can do this. Come on, don't you put that foot down. Let's go. Yes! Come on, keep going, go. Oh. Another turn, you kidding? Oh, that was a good save. Wow. Let me see the curtsy. I can't believe this. I look bald too. <laughs> wow, dancers. I actually think it is magical to look back where you started. I think it's so important too. And what a journey that you can go on and where confidence can lead you. I was one confident kid, not in like an arrogant way, but I was so determined to get to where I wanted to go. And you can see that in those videos. So I think taking away from this, I've learned that confidence is key and all of you need to embrace who you are. Even if you've got bent knees, not good feet, just find someone that can help you assist with that. Because from there, you're only gonna get better confidence wise and obviously physicality as well. So. I hope you've all learnt that today and just keep dancing. I mean, what a magical experience. Ah! Love you all lots. I'm going to see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on my Instagrams, of course. I will see you there. Bye.